In this video, I'm going to show you how to migrate your wishlist member only pages that you've created for uh, your courses or your membership or pretty much for any reason, and you've relied on wishlist member to protect those. I'm going to show you how to bring those into Thrive Apprentice instead so that you no longer need to use wishlist member. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how to migrate all of your members from wishlist member over to Thrive Apprentice, and I'll link that somewhere up here for you to go ahead and watch if you're interested in learning how to move everybody over seamlessly. All right, so on my membership site, I used to have a page just like this where I had assets and templates that I was protecting, and I only wanted members of my membership to be able to access these templates and use them. I didn't want them available to anybody else. So I used wishlist member to protect this page. It's just a normal page on my website. Now, when I migrated from wishlist member just over to Thrive Apprentice though, I had a problem. I no longer had a tool that was going to protect a page on my site. So let me show you a pretty neat trick that you can do to move all of this inside of Thrive Apprentice and have it not even look or feel like a course at all. Now, first I wanna show you a neat trick that you can do. Well, not really a trick, it's a feature. You can move all of your content from one page into a single content box or background section. You can select that background section and then in the upper right hand corner, you can click this little save icon and save it as a template so that you can just import it into the next page you're going to without having to literally rebuild the entire thing. So if you haven't done that or unless you want to rebuild everything from scratch, go ahead and save your content into a background section or a content box so you can use it later. Now for the next step, we need to come into the Thrive Apprentice design section. You can see here on the left-hand side, we're in the design category and you need to click edit design and we want to manage our templates. So what we're going to do is create a template that is strictly for our resources or our members only pages that we're trying to protect. So by default, we're looking at the core templates here in the top left. We can drop that down and we can go to lesson templates, which is what we're going to edit. And you can see here that I have one called no sidebar. Spoilers, I've already implemented this on my website, so it's already done, but I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to do it yourself. So what I'm going to do is just take my standard template, I'm gonna click these three dots and I'm going to say duplicate. Now find where it copied it, here's mine copy of standard lesson, and I'm going to rename this just so that I know. And for this, we can call this members only content and then hit enter. And now we need to edit this so that we can customize it to look exactly like we want it to look like for our members only content. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want my members only content that's not really a course to have this course sidebar. My pages aren't going to look like a course. It's just supposed to look like a page on my website. So we need to do a couple of things. The first thing I want to do is get rid of this dynamic sidebar. Let's just click that off. We're starting to look good. And if you get this graphical glitch like I have right here, you just need to untoggle and retoggle the stretch to full width. Okay, now, next thing I want you to remember, ignore everything within the content area. This is just pulling dynamic content from a placeholder course. And in my case, that's my Thrive Theme Builder course. It's irrelevant. What's going to appear here is the content that we put on the page. So ignore everything in this content area. What we do want to focus on though, are the header, the top section, and if we scroll down the bottom section and the comment section. So for me, if I go back to members only content settings, I want to turn off the bottom section. I don't want that. And there we go. That took away the comment section and that next lesson section. Like I said, we'll ignore the content area, but I wanna make one change to the background section up here in the top area, and that's removing the breadcrumbs. I don't need them on this template. It's just going to be a page on my site, or at least to everybody else, it's going to look like just a page, which is why I'm going to keep my navigation exactly the same as it is on the rest of my website. But you have the choice to make a change. Now, lastly, this text here is dynamically pulling the Thrive Apprentice title. We're going to leave this alone. All right, when you're done, all you have to do is click Save Work. Now, back at our template list, you'll see that we have our members only content and we have all of our other templates. We don't really need to do anything else here. Once we've created it, it's done. Now what we have to do is we have to go to our course list and create a new course. And if you can't see me here, let me bring up the little pip. Air quotes, course of all of our private pages that we're trying to protect. All right, so I'm back here in my demo site where I have my two courses and I have my members only resources. Let me show you how this, you can set this up. If we click into it, we can give it whatever slug we want. I'll call this member resources. And then we can go to the topic type. And instead of courses, 
let's go ahead and add a new topic. And in the button here in the upper right hand corner, click add topic. And I'm going to call this members only resources. You can give it whatever name you want. If yours are resources or bonuses, if yours are private pages, I'm just gonna call mine resources because when people join my membership, they get access to things like templates and code and various things that they don't get otherwise. So we'll leave that as that, hit enter. Now I wanna change the topic color, something a little darker, I don't know, something like uh, that, hit apply. And now I wanna change the icon, or you know what, actually, I think the icon's fine. That looks like it represents content or code or whatever to me. So I'm gonna leave it like that. And that's it. Now I'm gonna go back to my courses and I'm going to click into it and I'm going to change the topic to members only resources. And now it's no longer considered a course. This is great because this is going to allow us to filter this out from the rest of our courses so that it's not visible. And again, that's the whole point, keep it not visible. Now under our access restrictions, we do want to turn on restrict access and we can give it whatever rules we want. I have another video about setting these up you can find here on the channel. Basically, if someone's not logged in or they try to access this page somehow uh, without being a member or having the right access, they're going to see an error and that can be telling them to log in, it can be a sales page, whatever you want. So just make sure access restriction is toggled on. Now we need to add content to our air quotes course and this is going to be the bonuses or the resources or think of these more like the pages that you're trying to protect. So I'm going to add new content and I'm going to add a lesson. This step is important. You want this to be a lesson. And I'm going to call this uh, bonus templates. So members of my membership get access to bonus templates. It is a text lesson, that's fine. And I'm not going to allow comments and I'm going to click save. And now I'm going to click edit and I'm going to click add content. Okay, so now we have to do one important step. This doesn't look right. This does not look like that page that we just built or that template that we just built for our pages. So in the breadcrumbs here where it says Thrive Apprentice Lesson with the gear, click on this and go to Thrive Apprentice Lesson Template Settings and choose the template that you just created. In our case, we created our members only content. Click Activate and now just on this lesson or page, we have a different template that we've used. And suddenly this is starting to look just like a normal page. Don't pay any attention to these resources. These are just put here as a placeholder. All we care about is this post content section. And for us, we're going to add an element and we're going to drag in our templates and symbols. And with a click of a button, we've imported all of our assets that were on that page via the template and we can hit save work. Now let's preview that page. So here's that page on our website. Technically, this is a lesson inside of a course, but to your users, this is just another page on your website. And what's so cool about this is now this is going to be protected as an asset that is only available to people that you've given access to this course. So now let's take a look at how to give people access to our members only resources. What we're going to do is we're going to go to our courses section and we're going to go to bundles. Now, what I've done is I've created a bundle for my membership. And in this bundle, I've given access to the courses that I want to include, and I've given access to my members only resources. You can add a bundle and you can check the boxes and give it a name. It's really that easy. And now this can be sold within Thrivecart or whatever sales cart solution that you've integrated with Thrive Apprentice. Now we only have one more step. We need to make sure that people just don't see our resources section just hanging out there with the rest of our courses on our website. So if we come to my course site, and this is the member dashboard, if we click view courses, you can see that I have my course index of the courses that I have available, but there is no resource section. Let me show you why that is. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit this template and we're going to edit the course list by clicking on the course list and clicking filter courses. Now look at this, under topics, all I've done is show courses. If I click here, you'll see that I have my resources or bonus templates or whatever name you gave them. They, you'll see all of those here, but we only want to show the courses. Now, if you have already populated with different topics, you might see five or six things here. Regardless of what you have, just check the options for the things that you want to appear in your course list and just don't include the bonus or protected content section here unless you want it to be visible in your course list. It's entirely up to you.
Now, there are other ways you could have done this. You could have chosen to show access to people who have access to the content resources or not. You could have shown, you could have added a restricted label and filtered it this way, but this is the way that I like to do it. But you do have these options available to you. All right, now the last thing that you have to do is you have to link to it so that your members know how to find this newly created section in your website. And what I've done here on my dashboard is I've simply linked to it from one of these tiles. It's the Convology Pro Asset Library. You just simply click View Asset Library and it takes you right to the page on the site. And as you can see, it looks like any other page on my website, but it's hidden within a course. All right, so hopefully that was helpful. This is, I guess you could call it technically a workaround. I wouldn't call it a hack. It's using Thrive Apprentice exactly like it was built to be used, uh, but we're just simply protecting content instead of traditional courses. In the future, I hope that Thrive does add this ability natively into Thrive Apprentice to actually loop in and group in pages under its protection umbrella. However, until they do that, this is a solution that works great. And even after they implement a fix, there's nothing going to stop you from continuing to use this solution. So again, hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions about how to protect content inside of Thrive Apprentice or anything related to Thrive Suite at all, head over to Convology. I have lots of great courses and a membership that'll help get you started. And of course, you're welcome to leave a comment on this video or over at convology.com. So that'll do it for me and I'll see you in the next video.